Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so there's uh, the first card is um, the card, The Order, which uh, indicates recognition received for any of your work that you've been doing. So there's awards coming or uh, improvement of your reputation coming in with this particular card. And then you've got the fish card above it, which is really good because this says that money is going to be coming in. This is uh, the money card, really, and a lot of stability as well, something that is going to make you pretty happy. Um, below it, you've got uh, the clouds card. So uh, you might still be dealing with a, a bit of difficulties. Uh, you know, it could be uh, depressing you a little bit as well, but you are dealing with uh, something that is causing you to be a bit upset. But money and success coming in over there. Now, you've been looking for answers to a lot of questions. You've got the key card over here. Maybe a lot of doors have been open, opening for you. This could be an opportunity that has come to you or presented itself to you. Uh, you've got the cat card over here. You've got people around you that are uh, pretending, really, to be friendly or supportive of you. So be careful of that. Uh, you know, they're... they're saying things to make you feel better, but they not don't necessarily uh, mean it. So just be aware, you know, you've got people who are, uh, giving you false flattery there, really. Uh, so going into the future, you've got the handshake card over here, and this is about either signing new contracts or actually meeting new people. So you could well be meeting somebody, uh, uh, you know, going off for a lot of business meetings or, uh, uh, you know, collaborating with a lot of people, really. Um, you've got the house card, so uh, this is talking about, uh, you know, success coming to you, but, you know, you could even be buying a new house with this particular card, uh, but a lot of stability that comes in in this job that you're doing or just generally in your life. So those are the energies for that particular um, week or two weeks. So I'm using the Ramses Tarot uh, for the main read. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Cups over here. So this is overcoming a lot of obstacles and difficulties that you're dealing with, but actually having a plan in place. So this man's drawing up a plan on how to conquer, uh, you know, the lion versus the, uh, I think it's a, a ram or an antelope. So you're dealing with somebody that is quite difficult uh, to work for or work with. Uh, and, you know, you do need to have a plan of strategy in place uh, when you're dealing with this particular person. Um, this card might mean that you could actually need to do some research as to find out some information um, as to uh, how to deal with this particular circumstance. Now, with a Nine of Cups, it's, it's a card of satisfaction. So whatever you're doing, you're enjoying it, uh, and it, it is bringing in whatever you want. This is the Wish Fulfillment card, so you are getting what you need uh, to succeed. But if you're dealing with somebody that is uh, particularly uh, difficult or obstructing your way a little bit, a little bit, uh, you will need to have some kind of plan, a plan of action, and sit and think about it. Uh, just don't wing it. It's important for you to give it some uh, real thought, and uh, you know, be very, very practical in how you're going to deal with this particular situation. Your cups are filling up. You've got this cup here full of uh, wine, so uh, things are starting to come round, and things are going to come your way as well. Once you conquer this particular person or this particular situation that you're dealing with. It looks like all the other cups start filling up for you. So, uh, you know, with the scroll over here needing to do some research in order for you to find a plan or make a plan uh, on how to succeed. So what's happening with you? You've got the Seven of Swords over here and you've got the Three of Swords. So you've been through a very, very difficult situation. You may have even left that particular job. You've been working really, really hard at it. You can see working late hours and it was almost like a you know, like being in slavery, really. You were dealing with a lot of toxic people as well. You've got this huge snake over here uh, in the um, sand. 
and you've got this big shield so you've had to defend yourself quite a bit and right now maybe you're feeling as though you know you can't go on anymore because it is such a difficult situation now with that seven of swords in this particular deck you can see somebody helping this woman out of a really difficult situation so after working extremely hard with this three of swords and feeling as though everything is lost or you know you just don't have anything what you know anything left any strength left to continue on this particular journey uh, and even in this particular card you can see this man's got all the swords there so dealing with a lot of problems as well and he looks very despondent and it seems like somebody is there to come and rescue you from that situation now you've got a lot of crocodiles in the water over here so you are dealing with very very difficult people uh, and you know people that are out to get you really um, but somebody is going to ha come in and rescue you from that situation or give you advice or give you a helping hand as to get away from that particular scenario. You've got the new moon over there that is talking about um, something new beginning, some brand new cycle. So you're dealing with a lot of deception, a lot of lies, people trying to backstab. Uh, you know, they might be saying really nasty things. And, you know, you can see that with that Three of Swords working long hours and being really exhausted and still dealing with toxicity. So somebody is going to be there because one crowd crosses the other. So it looks like somebody is going to be there to help you get out of that particular situation. And like I said, if you are dealing with a very difficult person here, you do need to come up with a plan. Have a plan in place. So in the past uh, year or so, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so this is about, you know, in this particular deck, it's about not having enough and needing to get some kind of uh, support from somebody. So you've needed to supplement your income in some sort of way. Maybe you were looking after a family. Uh, you got some kind of news that came in about this uh, income. Um, and it seems like somebody has been helping you out. In the past few months, you've got the Strength card over here. So this is trying to overcome difficult difficulties or difficult people or you know trying to get through that situation by trying to charm your way out of it so you have been trying to sort through things and you've had to you know use a lot of uh, tremendous strength of character really uh, to try and get over this particular situation uh, but you do have what it takes so you know you're a force to be reckoned with and maybe this is how people are seeing you finally now you've got the king of wands um on your mind so this could be somebody that you're uh, dealing with uh, this is a fire energy so uh, you know it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius person it's a person in authority uh, and this might be somebody that you're working with there's some kind of choice that you are facing with this particular person somebody is whispering things in this person's ear as well you've got this little monkey sitting on his shoulder over here so somebody's spying and taking messages to this particular person so it might be a boss that you're working with and somebody's saying things about you to this person there's some kind of choice that you have to make in the background over there uh, so there's a decision that is pending maybe this man is trying maybe it's him trying to make a choice about maybe giving you a promotion or you know pushing you forward uh, and he's deliberating about it so going into the future you've got the queen of pentacles over here so you are going to get into some kind of position of leadership uh, and money will come in uh, so this might you might be uh, trying to vie for a, uh, a promotion here with this and this is the maybe the man who is making the decision and you know it looks like if you come up with that plan or strategy to to um on how even you, you present yourself uh it's going to get you into this position of being that queen of pentacles uh which is financially stable which is being in charge uh of a situation and it's also the, the uh, one of the money cards uh so this is going to bring in uh you know that pay rise that you want as well now, what's going on with you? You've got the Six of Pentacles over here, and you can see you are working extremely hard to accumulate that money. Uh, these people are trying to make that, that coin. So you're working hard to make your money, and very, very long hours as well, uh, really slaving at your work as well. And it seems like somebody's keeping tabs about on you or, or watching your, your every move, um, you know. So you might be working to a clock of some sort, um, but somebody seems to be keeping score as to how well you're doing as well. Now the Six of Pentacles is the card of money, so you are trying to, you are accumulating money, even though you're working so hard, money is coming in, uh, but you are working extremely hard for that money. Now you are dealing with somebody around you that is causing some problems. You might you might have had a conflict with somebody. You might have butted heads with somebody. There seems to be some kind of problem. They're saying things that are pretty nasty. 
I might have needed to call in a mediator of sorts to sort this particular problem out. So that's going on around you. Um, you know, you're not getting along with this particular person. You've got the Seven of Cups over here, and this is in your hopes and fears. And so, you know, you want, you've got a lot of options that you're considering at this particular moment. Uh, you may have to make a lot of decisions, and you're worried about which particular decision is going to work out for you. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Emperor card over here, the Knave of Cups, and the Knave of Swords. So the Emperor card, it is talking about a leadership position, a position of authority, uh, but you need to be very logical, very structured in how you deal with things, and you need to be very much in control. There seems to be a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes there that you're not aware of, uh, but you will be moving forward uh, in this particular job. So it, it, this looks like some kind of promotion because it takes you from the Queen of Pentacles into that emperor position so the emperor being a higher position than the queen of pentacles so there might be some kind of job promotion coming in for you um and uh, you know you're going to be very very much in charge uh, in a leadership role very much in a leadership role you've got the knave of chalices over here so there's that uh, news coming in of that offer coming in for you uh, so it looks like there is that promotion coming in as well uh, with this uh, knave of cups yeah, there might be some uh, learning, further learning or study attached to this particular post. You might need to do some further training uh, in order for you to take on this role, but definitely an offer coming in uh, for this role of leadership. And it looks like you will be signing some new contracts. You've also got the Knave of Swords over here, so something brand new that you will be signing uh, because the swords de generally deals with legal matters. So there is something that uh, you will be dealing in. You could also be hearing some official news. You've got a lot of birds coming in there in the background. There's some kind of news coming in as well on the official front. I mean, it could be even legal matters that you're dealing with as well. You will hear about it. But there's definitely an offer that is coming in for you, and it is an offer of leadership, a promotion of some sort. And I th think with these two cards, uh, the Knave of cu uh, Cups as well as that Emperor card, when you've got this Knave of swords over here it's more signifying you know stability in this particular job uh, there might be some hassles that you have been going through but uh, you know signing new contracts and um, coming um, taking on a new position so um, you know signing those new contracts for that new position okay so those that is the, the tarot reading for those two weeks let me just draw some cards from the fairy um, tarot as the oracle read So you've got the Eight of Winter here, which says uh, you have what it takes if you only believe in yourself. Thinking that you are powerless when you are not, a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So you do need to, uh, you know, put down um, to these people that you have authority and you are capable of doing this particular job. It's very important for you to do that and show that you are in charge because you're going for this emperor role here which is, you know, quite a big role or quite a big uh, promotion that you want. And, you know, you have to show them that you have the confidence and you have to start that by saying that, you know, you believe in yourself first before anybody else can believe in you. You've got to believe in yourself. So you have to show people you have the confidence to do that particular job. You've got this uh, Prince of Summer, which says... Uh, a need to stay grounded during very a very emotional experience. So the Prince of Summer is like the Prince of Cups, and this is the, an offer that is coming in for you. Uh, you need to ground yourself, but this is definitely a concrete offer um, coming in for you. And like I said, there might be some kind of learning that's attached to that particular offer. So uh, just watch out. You know, be aware that that could be the case. That you will may you may need to do some uh, you know extra courses or seminars or something of that sort uh, to bring your your skill level up. You might even have to do some kind of a management course or uh, you know some kind of um, course where you learn how to um, um, work with work in a, an authority position a management course where you're learning how to lead people so there's something that you need to and uh, do in to enhance your skills in order for you to get this new post and then you get this king of spring um, over here which is the um, King of Wands, which says a financial win, your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. So wherever this person is that you're dealing with, because it's appeared twice in the in the spread, this King of Wands, he really, um, or it could be even a she, uh, you know, it's that um, energy is not feminine or masculine, it's just the energy, uh, but it's the King of Spring, so it's the ultimate authority, really. And they seem to be, uh, you know, very supportive of you. So they are making some kind of decision and they're g gathering intel about, you know, 
what you do and how you are in that particular job. And they seem to be supporting, uh, you know, you um, and seem to be, um, you know, uh, behind you. Um, so maybe they want you to get this particular post. And uh, so it's important for you to come across as somebody who has authority and somebody uh, who can uh, handle leadership. So uh, make sure that you're coming across as such. So there is somebody there that is going to help you forward and uh, you need to display your leadership uh, qualities. This card also says that financial uh, financial windfall. So with this new position is going to come in a good, uh, you know, a good uh, uh, windfall of money. So uh, definitely, it, it is definitely going to bring in the money for you. Um, so all the best with that, and uh, you know, act with authority and act with confidence. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.